Ryan here with Prudential Pest Solutions. And in this video, I'm gonna show you and teach you a little bit about the box elder bug, why we see them often in the fall and summer, and what we can do and what you can do to have them not be such a nuisance at your house. Let's find out. So the box elder bug is a true bug in the sense that they do not have any stingers, any mouthpieces, they have a sucking mouthpiece. And what they're gonna go after is they're gonna go after plants, seeds, sap, that sort of thing. Now they're typically gonna go after the box elder tree. However, we also find them on maples and ash trees. And if you scratch your brain a little bit and you think what other trees also, or what other pests also attack? Maple trees, spotted lanternfly, right? So maple trees are susceptible to many different kinds of pests. Uh, and one of which is the box elder bug. So what happens is, is that they go dormant in the, in the winter time, they hibernate. And what that means is, is that they leave the trees Okay, they leave the plants that they're they've been feeding on and reproducing on and, and, and all of that, and they're going to seek shelter elsewhere. Now, for a homeowner and from a pest control business, uh, what we find is that they like to come inside. So oftentimes we'll have folks that'll call us in the dead of winter because they have these beautiful black and orange looking bugs in their house, but they don't want them there. And uh, what ended up happening was they came in in the fall, okay, and they got behind the siding, maybe through some uncocked windowsill, something like that or into the eaves of the of the attic through the soffit or the eaves or the fascia or the or any of the kind of vents that are up there and they're overwintering well in the dead of winter we're running our, our our heating systems in our home trying to keep it warm and sometimes that fools them into thinking that spring has sprung so now it's time for them to come out and uh, and go back outside however it's the middle of winter they don't know where to go they're stuck in your house and that's where we get the phone call so big things that we can do or that you can do as a homeowner is in the fall when we know that these insects who are living outside want to move inside is we want to uh, either seal up some of those areas or even just do a liquid spray in the hot spots where they're going to enter around windows soffits um, along the roof line that sort of thing and not only is it great for box elder bugs but it's also going to be good for stink bugs flies any of these other sort of pests that that happen to make their way in uh, as the weather cools off outside and they seek shelter inside um, so that's what we're gonna, that's what we want to do then. In the spring, which we're in now, we're in April here in Pennsylvania, um, and we're starting to see them again. That's because they're, it's warmer out and they're trying to get back outside to get back onto those plants so they can complete their life cycle, which is to mate, lay eggs, and start the whole process over again. So when we see box elder bugs in the spring or, or winter, the winter or spring, that tells us that those insects came in last fall. So it's actually an issue that happened last fall and we can address it now. So how do we address it? Well, like I said, on the outside, we're gonna do some sealing and maybe some liquid treatment, but on the inside, it can be something as simple as, yeah, sure, we could do some liquid treatment on the inside, but often just using a vacuum, cleaning them up, that sort of thing. Now I said, some folks call them stink bugs. Why is that? Well, they do have an excretion that they make that does have a bitter or sour or bad smell or taste to it. And that's great for keeping predators at bay. And they don't really have a whole ton of predators for this exact reason. Um, but it's also the reason why some folks call them stink bugs, which is what we know um, is something completely different, although similar in the sense that they're plant feeders as well. And we also see them in the in, coming inside in the fall and leaving in the spring. So if you have a box elder bug, if you have maple trees, or you just have pests in general and you don't want them at your house, it's time to call the professionals at Prudential Pest Solutions. You can reach us at 484-401-4361. We're veteran and family owned. We're locally owned and operated. And we service all of Berks County, Chester County, Lancaster County, and Southeastern Pennsylvania.